Welcome to your YouTube channel Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to talk about the open board software. So, what is an open board software? Open board is actually a blackboard or a whiteboard that you see in your school, college, or university. So, this software is very is going to be very helpful for teachers who are teaching online. If you have a pen tablet, whether it's a Wacom pen tablet or the Vic pen tablet, you need to have this software installed and it will going to enhance your teaching experience greatly. Now first things first, how to download and install this software. Remember that this software is an open source software, so you do not need to pay anything, you, know, you do not need to make an account to download and install it. And to download and install it, you need to type this URL. I will put the link in the description. You can click on the link if, if you want to download and install it. When you click on the link, this site, that will take you to this site. Now, some information about the open board is given. It is easy to install. It is open source. It's universal, simple, you, from school to academy writing. So that's, and that, then a preview of the open board is given. And uh this is again it's given that it's the best for your class and i agree with this so well now after you download and install it it is going to be some 55 mb file so after you download and install it you will have this type of icon appear so let me go on go on and click on this icon when i click on this icon the open board environment is going to appear on the left side i have all the pages that I have used. So on the left side, on this side, I have all the pages that I have used. And on the right side, I have the bunch of options. I can add audios, movies, pictures, etc. And then on the top, we have the stylus. Stylus is this thing. If I click on stylus, this is going to disappear. But I do not want it to disappear because I'm going to use it. This is very useful. That is why I'm going to keep it on my blackboard next is is the colors so you can draw lines of any colors for example i can draw a line of the white color i can draw a line of the red color similarly i can draw a line of blue green and yellow so if you are teaching online to the students you can use different colors for different purposes again the line width can be changed from here we have three types of line width this is the narrower line width and then we have uh, some width increase line it and finally we have the line width which is the largest so we have three types of line width and again we have eraser of three types this is the small eraser this is the medium eraser and this is the largest eraser and if you want to remove all the things at once if you want to clear out the page you can click on here erase and all the stuff that is present on the page that is present uh, in this open board is going to be cleared out. And we have other options of undo and redo. For example, if I click on pen here and I write something, for example, if fired. Now, if I want to remove T, I can do undo. So, for removing options, I have the undo options and the redo option as well. And then we have again I'm going to click on erase and all the stuff is going to be erased. We also have different backgrounds. We have a background which is a line background and then a grid background, a simple black background that I prefer to use. Again in white board or in white background I have the line background, the grid background and the simple white background. But the most prefer preferable that I want to use is the black background. So I can change the background from this option. Next is this stylus now in stylus first option is my pen so if i want to write something i should click on here when i click on here i am going to write something if i want to display a graph or something i can uh, i should select this if i want to erase it i have the second thing second component over here is the eraser third component is the highlighter if i want to highlight something i should use this component and then we have a different types of arrows. Uh, we also have this where I can slide on and move to the next page if I want to. So I can slide 
to the down to the up using this option and then we have the zoom in option where i can zoom it zoom in the screen and also i can zoom out the screen i also have the option of zoom out i have the laser point paint uh, uh, laser pointer where i can point to something for example if i'm explaining something i can laser point to it like this and then we have the line graph if i want to draw a line i should select this and then we are going to get a perfect line like this so if i want to draw lines i should select this thing next thing is my uh, text i can also select a text by simply clicking on here so if i want to write something for example uh, this is open board tutorial so i can always write something using this option over here and then we have the cut option and then we also have the keyboard if i want to display the keyboard i can also display the keyboard let me display the keyboard click on it and there we go the keyboard has also appeared if i want to demonstrate something so let me close this and then in here we have different types of options we have the options of web document short desktop if i'm if i want to move to the desktop i can simply say short desktop and that is going to disappear but if i want to have my open book appear again i should left click on the open board open board now the next option in the open board is the setting i have the page size page size i can change to the regular size and the wide size we i have the cut option i have the copy option paste option hide open board option sleep open option some tutorial is also given and finally the preferences next is my podcast podcast is used for recording whatever i am writing so if i click on the podcast for example let me remove remove all these by clicking on erase and then let me click on the pod podcast when i click on the podcast this type of window is going to appear now this option is for recording if i want to record this screen by writing something i can always record from here for example let me start the recording so when i click on here now everything is going to be recorded now this thing is going to be recorded this is recorded and when i click on here this will be saved in my desktop because i have uh, saved my open board on my desktop so let me move to the desktop if we can have a look this open broadcast this is that tutorial that we recorded this is that recording so this was the functionality of the broadcast by the way i will not prefer recording from here i will prefer the obs because obs is the best software for uh, recording screen and the tutorial of obs is given on my channel but if you want to record from here you can also record from here but there will be some background noise so this is all about the open board software i strongly recommend this software for all teachers who are teaching online because this will increase your teaching this will enhance your teaching experience greatly it will make your life easy as a teacher thank you